Courtney, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So we went from watching the most highly anticipated press conference in about four years since Floyd Mayweather fought against Conor McGregor. That's how highly anticipated this press conference between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder was. So we go from watching one of the biggest press conferences to witnessing one of the most shocking postponements I can recall. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the topic of discussion. Andre Ward, I made a video, reported this. Andre Ward, he read Deontay Wilder's body language completely wrong. And everything that has just materialized completely proves that. I'm going to play the clip for you guys, but I want to sum it up. Andre Ward, his interpretation of watching Deontay Wilder show up at the press conference with headphones told him that Deontay Wilder was trying to hide from people and wasn't psychologically prepared for this third fight. Let me go ahead and play the clip and I'm gonna continue. Check it out. So when you see him sort of tuning out the world and trying to tune out Tyson Fury, it's a major red flag because it looks like he's hiding. It looks like he's struggling to deal with the pressure in the moment. And of course, we all know, and Fury said it, that, that Wilder's always a punch away from upsetting the yes. apple card and winning a fight. But we're not talking about that. You know, Wilder has called himself a king, you know, and heavy is the, the head that wears the crown. You have to deal with these moments. There's a time and a place to be home and get away for two, three months, six months. It's been 18 months. You got to be able to face this moment. Your trainer, Malik Scott, is getting involved in arguments and taking the bait from Fury as if he's the one that's going to fight mm. in July, and he's not. And then you got the fighter who's tuning out the rest of the world. You have to face that. You have to shoulder it because here's the thing. Come July 24th, yes. those headphones are coming off, and you got to feel the arena. You got to face the pressure, and you got to hear the crowd, and you got to face Tyson Fury. And my question is, are you mentally and psychologically ready for that? Are you mentally and psychologically ready for that? And look who pulls out of the fight. It wasn't Deontay Wilder. And Tyson Fury, didn't Tyson Fury sound extremely confident? Oh, Tyson Fury, he talked up a good game at the press conference, didn't he? I'm surprised at Andre Ward because I thought Andre Ward would have been able to read things a little bit better than this. I would have thought that Andre Ward would have put two and two together and he would have said, wait a minute, this man Tyson Fury has tried everything to get out of this fight. He was willing to pay millions of dollars for an arbitration just to avoid the fight. His father is saying that he is really, really worried about this fight and Deontay Water may win. Tyson Fury is completely out of shape. He doesn't look as driven as he did going into the second fight. I would have expected Andre Ward to look at all of these red flags. But the only red flags that he seen was Deontay Wilder wearing headphones and not wanting to speak to the media. Once again, I would expect this from old media. I would expect this from Joe Tessitore. Hell, I would expect this from Tim Bradley. I wouldn't expect this from Andre Ward. And you know, a lot of times I tell you guys this and I see some of you guys say in the comment section, some of you guys are saying, what are you talking about, Dante? Andre Ward has been pulling moves like this for a very, very long time. I guess the reason why it's a, it shocks me because I know Andre Ward personally and me and him used to talk. We would have conversations about racial double standards in the sport of boxing. We would talk a lot about this. So that's the reason why it shocks me because the, I'm talking about years back, we would talk. And following us having these conversations, this is around the time when Andre Ward got a little bit bolder to come out and speak on these racial double standards. You remember there were times where he came out and he spoke on the double standards, how he's treated, as opposed to how someone on the hopeless is treated. He addressed the racist post that Kovalev put out when he was clowning Adonis Stevenson. 
There was a time when Andre Ward was talking about this. In fact, there was a time when Andre Ward was the only fighter at dressing these racial double standards. But at the same time, when you start hanging out with the wrong crowd, it wears on you. So yeah, Andre Ward, he called this one dead wrong. He called this one dead wrong. You know what blows my mind is how so many people, including in that same piece on ESPN, you had Joe Tessitore, how he was talking about, you know, Deontay Wilder. For months, he's been talking about these allegations of cheating, and then all of a sudden, he says nothing. It's so ridiculous for them to say this, because when Deontay Wilder did speak on this, when he went on his Instagram and he spoke on this, Joe Tessitore didn't say anything about it. Nobody, they completely ignored this because they did not want anyone to take this win away from them. If Deontay Wilder would have said this on stage, all of these old media members, they would have said, there goes Deontay Wilder with his conspiracy theories. He doesn't know how to take a loss, et cetera, et cetera. Even though they're still making excuses for why Canelo lost to Floyd, why Manny Pacquiao lost to Floyd, and everybody else lost to fighters on a coincidental list. But when it comes to Deontay Wilder, it's conspiracy theories. But it wasn't no conspiracy theories when Tyson Fury tested positive for PEDs. It wasn't a conspiracy theory when Tyson Fury's sparring partner exposed him on camera by showing Tyson Fury's tampered gloves while they were sparring. And once again, Joe Tessitore, and all these other old media members, they never said anything about this. Do you know how big of a story that should have been? Your sparring partner catches you sparring with tamper gloves and they completely ignored it? Even when that pig farmer came out and accused Tyson Fury and his team of bribing him to lie just so he can possibly not get suspended from testing positive for PEDs. Even when that took place, ESPN didn't even report the news. But they wanna sit here and say, oh, how come Deontay Water didn't say anything? He had an opportunity to say something, how come he didn't say it? Deontay Water could have came on that stage and had hidden footage of Tyson Fury tampering his gloves in the dressing room. These people would have still said stuff like, oh, well, he's a better boxer. He would have won even if he didn't cheat. We know what time it is. I just wish Andre Ward knew the time. Andre Ward talking about red flags. Everything about Tyson Fury sends off red flags. Testing positive for PEDs. Paying off people to lie for you. Sparring partners. Showing proof that you're cheating even in sparring. Tyson Fury not wanting to drink the same water that Deontay Water says is spiked. Red flags everywhere. Guys, I have been telling you since the second fight took place. More and more is going to come out. And look at how much we have learned since that second fight. And more than this is going to come out, guys. I keep telling you, man, we are going to find out there are way more bodies buried under that house. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hello, my name is Dominic. Um, I just got my procedure done here in South Carolina. Um, I was recommended by Dante's Boxing Nation, and uh, it's real. And um, here's, the, uh, here's the results. Uh, the brother out here, Brother Enoch, is real. And um, it's a very, very, very good recommendation. I recommend it. Um, four hours, you in, you out, and it's the rest of your life. So if anyone in the world wants this hookup, make sure you contact my man, Anak, at 704-499-3471 and make sure to follow him on Instagram. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram.